Hey, it's Amanda Taro. I'm Anita Heath. And we are Chelsea, Chelsea Michelle. Michelle. We have two books out right now <laughs> at the time of recording this, but you can get them. We'll have the links in the description below. But today we are back with another two part series where we watch a mystery and we discuss it. So today. Mysteries we sample. Mysteries we sample, yes. And today <laughs> is the taste test. And for the, most of them, Anita's shown me stuff that I haven't seen, but today I got to show her <laughs> Sue Thomas. <laughs> okay, so if you've already watched and loved Sue Thomas, then hopefully you're just as excited as I am. Now, <clears throat> since it was just a taste test, I am actually sending these all home with her <laughs> for her to watch all of them. I did not start her on the pilot no. um, because I will say, there's a great series and also the same producers produced a series called Doc, which is also kind of a cute and really clean series as well. Um, they, they lean toward Christian, but they aren't explicitly Christian. Okay. Um, but anyway, um, we started on episode 301, was that what I said? It, season 3, episode 1? Yeah, season yeah. 3, episode 1, it's uh, Simon Says, because I wanted one that was like nice into the show once the actors are all familiar with each other, because yeah. the pilot is so slow, and it takes, I mean, it gives you backstory that's important to know, so she'll right. have to catch up with the backstory. But, so we're basically, with the taste test, we're talking about the brand, mm -hmm. um, just the overall... No spoilers in this yeah, video. Yeah, no spoilers. But we did watch Simon Says, so if you want to watch it before our next video, which is Table Talk, where we talk specifically about that episode, watch Simon Says before our next video. Which, speaking of, most people ask where they can watch these things. Um, it is on Prime. So, and I'm not sure if it's on Hallmark Movies Now Prime or if it's just Prime, because we've got both. But um, you can access, I'm pretty sure, the entire set on Prime. So, if you can get a week free, might be a good time to binge it. Otherwise, just watch Simon Says. <laughs> okay, so, Sue Thomas, so. Yeah, I loved it, like, loved it, loved it. Uh, it's set, I think, season three was 2004, so it definitely, it, it didn't have the strong 90s feel that, like, mm -hmm. you knew it was. There was something that happened, I was like, this, this is nice. Oh, I think it was just the camera, some of the things they were doing. I'm like, this feels, yeah, 90s. Um, but, like, it, it's as good as Matlock, or she wrote, like, it's, yeah, it's all mm -hmm. in. And, but what I like about these, these are very clean. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I think in this one, they, they showed a dead body. They didn't even show her face. They just kind of showed, like, her torso or whatever. And, and by the way, it was dressed, <laughs> you know? So, it's there's, important. like, <laughs> there's nothing in any of these that I'm like, oh, I'm not so sure. You know, they do get, some of them can get a little scary. So, like, I'm talking about, like, I have younger siblings, so... For a while, we didn't let our youngest siblings watch certain episodes. I'm pretty sure Simon Says was one of them. I'm sure it was. <laughs> the suspense anyway. was a little Yeah, higher. so they are a little bit higher in the suspense. But um, it's an FBI team. Um, and Sue Thomas herself. So it's it's based on a real person. I, of course, they take a lot of creative license in doing this show. But uh, Sue Thomas is actually, she really worked for the FBI. She's deaf and she reads lips and so that is a big that's what it's actually called sue thomas f-b-i-e-y-e -E. because she is using her eyesight rather yeah gotcha. yeah so um they actually dn i think it's dn gist um now i'm second guessing myself on the actor's name it's not on here anyway the <laughs> actor who acts for sue thomas is actually deaf which that was a comment that Anita made. She's like, oh, I didn't think about her actually sounding different. I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess I, I have both been around deaf people for like a good par portion of my life as well as have watched these things for years. So, um, yeah. yeah, forget that that is part of the deaf culture. So I like that there's a lot of deaf culture in these. You don't mm -hmm. see it in all of them, but sometimes you do. There are sometimes, like there's an episode where um, <clears throat> Sue is with her deaf friends and her best friend Lucy comes along and Lucy gets like all like they're all signing really fast and Lucy can't yeah. keep up. And so Lucy's kind of feeling left out or whatever. Well then it flips and they're in the office or maybe they go out to eat or something and they're all talking around and Sue's getting lost. And Lucy's like, you know, I never thought about it from your yeah. perspective. And so I love how they really do a good job with bringing in the deaf culture. And as the show goes on, more and more of the characters learn sign language. I noticed that. And yeah. so, yeah, it, there's a lot of really cool things that you just like, 
they will start, they will sign things like, in this episode, I think Tara asked like a question, she put an R like to m make sure that's what you're, you're asking, like this is the word you're trying to say. Mm -hmm. And so I love that aspect of it. Yeah, it was, it was really good. Um, like I said, it was clean. Um, it was, it was a good story. It just, it, it's what you're looking for in a good mystery brand. Um, mm -hmm. it was, it was great. Um, you can't always figure these out. And sometimes it's, they know who the bad guy is and they're just trying to track them down because okay. they're FBI. And, um, so it kind of goes both ends. It's not, there definitely aren't really wash and reuse, um, really? plot lines. And I will say throughout all of it, the relationships of different ones of them kind of develop. Like they, they do have the overall storyline of the characters. It's mm -hmm. not that strong. Like, I don't think you felt lost at anything by just coming in. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I will say yeah. another thing I love is the office culture. There yeah. was some of that and, and I love how they do it because they have a really serious episode, but then they have something really funny. Like, and this one was a coffee maker. Sorry. Yeah. That's not a big spoiler. <laughs> I just realized, oh wait, we're not supposed to be talking about specific episodes, but, um, you know, so they have a little bit of office comedy going on mm -hmm. and that is quite, that is, that is part of the brand. Like they yeah. have the serious mystery and yeah. then they have something that it's can make you kind of chuckle. Yeah. Matt Locke does that with himself. Like he's, okay. he's yeah. kind of, yeah, he throws in his own little mm -hmm. funny lines and stuff. Right. Yeah. Kind of yeah. softens the seriousness right. of it all. Yeah. Yes. It's good. Yes. Brings it down to cozy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was good. It was a great cast. Uh, I think the actors were great too. Um, that is something I will say. If you start in the beginning... Some of them do have to grow on you mm -hmm. because like it, that's why I wanted to show her one in the later ones because they really get their chemistry together yeah. really good. Yeah. Um, but in the first few, it's kind of like, oh yeah, they're kind of like, but I think you have that with any season, yeah. any, any yeah. series that the first <laughs> few episodes, they're kind of learning each other and you yeah. can tell that. And it, it's weird how, I mean, the professional actors, they practice and yet still there's a difference between the first mm -hmm. and the last, which is amazing. It, it kind of gives you more respect for movie actors mm -hmm. where it's just that two hours is all they've got they don't come back yeah for 10 seasons and so to kind of pull off that chemistry that's probably spent a little more time working on it but right yes yeah, more than two hours creating it yeah. but still <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, anyways but um let's see what else can we talk about the brand okay let's talk about all the characters let's talk i mean i'm just gonna be more me than you because you barely introduced them <laughs> <sighs> okay, of course, there's Sue, and she's the deaf one, and she's got Levi, which is her hearing dog, um, which they always have something a little cute with Levi. Which, Levi, the hearing dog, like, that's something I've never even heard of oh, before. yeah. So, that's, yeah, yeah, that's very different. So, that's a very good nod to the culture, because, you know, it's like, she can't hear things, and so, if there's a phone ring or something, he'll, he'll like, come up and paw her. To oh, like, okay. What, you know, like, what I'm do I need to pay attention to? What he does. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. you know, or if there's gunfires going off, he'll jump and, you know, okay. protect her, things like that. So that's really cool. Yeah. So there's Sue and her hearing dog, Levi. And then there's Lucy, which is Sue's best friend. And they really have, like, a good connection. That's something that grows throughout the series. That That's really cool. She's, she is one of my favorite people. I can't really say that. I really love all the cast. Like, I, I, I love all of them. And then um, Tara would be the other one. She's kind of the nerdy girl. Um, a little bit ditzy. Uh, blonde. I identify with her very much. So she's kind of a funny, like, you're just kind of like a frazzled, just like, this is what I want. Just like, you know? So uh, she's cute. She She's probably one of the biggest character, or actor growths that I've seen. Really? Like, in the beginning, she was kind of like, uh, yeah, whatever. But then... She kind of settles into her little acting. Of course, Bobby, and he's supposed to be the Aussie. Uh, he's got a really good accent. He's not originally Australian, if I'm okay. remembering correctly. But he has a good accent. He's one of my favorites. Of course, there's Jack Hudson, which is another favorite. And then there's Bobby, who's like very... Did you already mention Bobby? You didn't mention Bobby? Not Bobby, Miles. Yes, Bobby's the Aussie one. See, I was paying attention. I, I'm, <laughs> I need coffee, and I was, I got it, yep. Sorry, Miles. Miles is go. very <laughs> auspicious and just, he, he is Miles. He sounds British. He's Miles Leland the Third. He's British. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so he definitely has yeah. that, and, and he really, like, he's one of the annoying characters, but also one of the, <laughs> like, yeah. you can't have the show without him. So, uh, so yeah. Oh, and then Demetrius, D. Um, oh, yeah. He's kind of like the 
father figure. You didn't see as much in the episode yeah. that we watched, but he kind of will just kind of like, okay, everyone kind of calm down, you know. So I, they have really strong characters that, yeah, that, that all the stories are built around. And of course, different seasons or different episodes feature different characters. Of course, Sue is usually the star, but then sometimes they'll really highlight Miles or they'll highlight Bobby or whatever. So yeah, great cast yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, so yeah, it's good. It's good. All right, any other impressions of the show? No, but you definitely need to go watch them. Yes, <laughs> go watch them. Let us know. Have yeah. you seen Sue Thomas? If so, well, I say which episode should she watch, but she's about to get them all. So <laughs> when I get to them all, that's a different story. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah. yeah, let us know. Have you ever seen Sue Thomas? Which episode is your favorite? Which character is your favorite? And, yeah, come back next week, and we will talk about Simon Says. Hiya.